everyone it's Rami Kanagu from gospelthroughwards.com it's a beautiful Sunday happy Sunday the best day of the week I'm excited and I'm so glad that God has made beautiful day to rest this Sunday and this Sunday is very special to our church the Lakeside Church Toronto where we celebrate five years of God's goodness to us I want to encourage you, my brother and sister, do not give up. Do not lose heart. Many times there are many reasons that we can give up. Many reasons that cause us to lose heart. But I want to encourage you, just like Paul is encouraging you and I today, from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, where Paul is telling to you and I not to lose hope, not to give up. Remind yourself the great calling that God has given us in Jesus Christ. We do not lose heart when we face difficulties. When we face adversaries, let us be bold and preach the gospel. Let us not lose heart. Losing heart is feeling that you want to let go. You want to give up. You don't have the lack of courage. You don't have the courage or you lack courage. But remind yourself, the battle is the Lord's and he will fight your battles. Do not give up. Do not give up. He will give you strength upon strength to run this race. You are never alone. My brother and sister, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24, it says, Do you not know? that in a race all runners run but only one gets the prize run in such a way as to get a prize you and i we are running this race we are all runners and only one gets a prize in christ jesus all of us get the prize but do not lose heart do not give up second chronicles chapter 15 verse 7 it says as for you be strong do not give up for your work will be rewarded. Many times as a mother, you want to give up. Many times as a wife or a husband, you want to give up on your marriage. Or many times as a grandma, or many times as a daughter, or many times as an individual, you want to give up. You get weary of doing good things. You get weary of disciplining your children. You get weary of running this race. But remind yourself, do not give up. Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we don't give up. Imagine the farmer, he will harvest. He will go and look at the field and see no harvest. But if we gave up and go and not water the field, not look after, not fertilize the field, if he just gives up, the weed will come over, take over and he would not see the harvest but as he has sowed let him wait patiently and not give up my brother and sister do not give up we know in genesis chapter 50 verse 20 joseph could have given up many times when his brothers betrayed him when he was put in prison for wrong reasons he could have given up when the people the the wine taster and the bread maker forgot their promises. Joseph could have easily given up, but Joseph didn't. Joseph said, you intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many souls. You would not see the harvest now, but you will see it coming. The harvest is plenty. God wants to use you, my brother and sister. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 it says without faith it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him <clears throat> do you not give up keep earnestly seeking keep knocking at the Lord Jesus's feet Ask, asking him to answer your prayers like the widow who came and knocked at the judge's door many times many times pleading the judge to help the evil judge didn't want to answer her but because of a plead because of not giving up she wanted to help her my brother and sister our god the father is much more favorable than this judge he is a fair God. He is a just God. He will answer you and I if we do not give up. 
So my brother and sister, are you feeling downcast today? Are you feeling like giving up? Are you feeling that you have lost hope? Do not give up. Do not give up. The battle is the Lord. Our small church, the Lakeside Church, is celebrating five years. And I'm sure many times our pastors, our leaders, our people who are in our church would have want to give up. But they kept on running, running this race because the price that God has marked for you and I. My brother and sister, we might be small, we might be little, we might be timid, we might be in the eyes of the enemy. You will be like a small, small, small plant. But remind yourself, you are rooted in Christ Jesus. You're going to become this oak tree bearing fruit that the birds of the sky will come and nest on it. The nations will come to see the glory of Christ in you. My brother and sister, do not give up. Do not give up. I've had in my life many times where I want to give up. Maybe with my children, maybe with my marriage, maybe with my life. But God was with me. God was with me telling me that He loves me and that I should keep on running. Keep on running because he will reward me. My brother and sister, trust in him today. Hope in him today. Depend, depend on him today. Do not lose heart today. Let's pray. Father God, we come to you this beautiful Sunday where we have time in the mornings, early mornings, to hear the birds sing, hear the water falling. Lord, we thank you for the beauty that you have given us in nature. Many times we want to give up in life and lose heart when things don't go the way we want. But Lord, help us to run with perseverance the race that is marked for us. Lord, I pray that you would send people, you would encourage my brother and sister today. Help them not to give up. Help them to run this race. Help them to persevere. Be rooted in you and read your word, meditate on your word, be encouraged and fed in your word on this race. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Amen. I hope this blessed you my brother and sister. I want to sing this beautiful song called We Fall Down. We fall down at our mighty God, our heavenly King, our King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we cry holy. We fall down lay our crowns at the feet of Jesus. The greatness of mercy and love at the feet of Jesus. We cry holy, holy, holy. We cry holy, holy, holy. We cry holy, holy, holy is the Lamb. We fall down lay our crowns at the feet of jesus the greatness of mercy and love at the feet of jesus we cry holy 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 we cry holy 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 we cry holy 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 is the land at the end when our life is ended we would have a scenario where we would fall down at the feet of jesus lay our crowns whatever crowns we have won we lay them all down at the feet of jesus and cry holy 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 is the lamb who is worthy of all our praise and all the glory all the majesty he died for you my brother and sister this is the reason that we can live today we can run this race and do not lose hope i hope you have a wonderful sunday i'm excited for today <clears throat> what god is doing in the midst of us he is worthy of all our praise have yourself a wonderful sunday attend your church your local churches and worship God in spirit and in truth. Wherever you are, trust in Him. Do not lose heart. He's fighting your battles. He is with you. He is with you. And you are more than an overcomer. God bless you. Share this message with your friends and your loved ones. 
encourage one another today it's so early it's around seven now in the morning i got up early and so excited for today and had to do a few things and get breakfast ready for my children to go to church and my family to attend church and worship god in spirit and in truth have yourself a wonderful day god bless you bye